you know, it seems like the Avenger already peaked with invention and what the plot is probably really bad, like, these next couple of levels. I don't really understand anything I was saying anymore. Okay, so you got the Pyrofrost. Home of both Calc and Fire 1 features mostly comprised of Igneous Rock, Fire Tanks, Salamanders, Trolls, Wyverns, and Evil 3D. Creatures carved out orchards using volcanic rock structures as territorial markers, Great Red Dragon, Kyrie's Crusade presides over the inhabitants of the Pyrofrost through a powerful aura of fear that permeates every inch of the spectrum. This is a region characterized by absolute fear, times his will, and law of the Pyrofrost. The Pyrofrost creation, a pivotal Pyrofrost begins the final day of the prison creation. Both sets of celestials took the task of imprisoning the Dragon Kyrie's, the devourer of kings, Kyrie's beings are infamous, and the Chronicle of the Legend constantly etched into the history book of name. The tales of our thousands fell under his reign. The terror of centuries of both power and celestials finally subdued him. The celestials originally decided to destroy Kyrie's, but the Gothic Chaos declared the Gothic execution would start a war in heaven. The demon would do everything in his power to avenge his son to avoid a conflict the celestials struck a bargain. But the Gothic Chaos from Montgomery in prison, Kyrie's, and they returned the Gothic Chaos would surrender and under the children and tone in the Tower's caretakers. With his accord, mighty thunder clap echoed from heaven, celestial shattered the cross of the land, and tremendous force alarmed the shook the land. The Gothic Chaos of Classes children into the great dungeon of celestials, encasing them in magma, the molten rock, cooled into stone, and the was forged. All the stories told to children. Tyrus is one of the most feared entities that demonstrates the most powerful in the region as a young Grimnik. Tyrus craved control of the lands of Celestial Set. His remorseless hunger for annihilation and legendary his pleasure in life is that destroyed Tyrus' lust for devastation with the of the deities of the abyss, who gave him a match for his violence so hard to demolish. It will take centuries for his age to to hold the Celestials imprisoned Tyrus behind magical wall lights. And so, in both, Tyrus sleep would last 1,000 lifetimes. One for each kingdom he destroyed, but then the great respect came, shaking the dungeon's foundation and shattering a portion of the glacial barrier, and the beast woke from sleep. As the walls of the dungeon waned, Tyrus' power grew. A structural pyrofrost, many fire creatures have made their home in the pyrofrost, forming the rest ecosystem. The pyrofrost consists of a series of niches or rings. Each ring of the pyrofrost is merely a creature at the center of each ring. Lies in its liquid power draws the creatures protected. The power is believed to be a wagon of the pyrofrost, and each race draws upon the evil in different ways. The control of the drive makes the inhabitants territorial. They rarely leave their ring. Such territorialism, they rarely leave their impels. Each ring they clearly make it set territory. Territorial markers are usually large basalt structures, magma car, basins, lava flows, bloodstream, pain, kings. Whatever iconography works. Interaction is rare, but when it happens, it revolves around element, disposition, hierarchy, some rings exhibit mutualism, while others are less cooperative, altogether they are non-rings based on location where magic is weak and Tyrus is evil strong.